that's a position that's gonna you know, happen a lot. What I need, you guys need to understand is that for me to be able to make him tap, I need to open his guard and go to the side control. That's like a thing that you have to do. It. I can attack him from here. If I do that and give my arms, he can attack my arms any time. Okay? And that's why I got out. Now, the way you position your, your leg to give you bait, okay? I see that a lot of guys, a lot of times you just think it's just open and sit back. It's not. Anytime Jake can break my posture, to bring his leg. And then every time I need to start from zero again, okay? So what I need to do, old school way that I do in, I'm old, in Jiu Jitsu, in Jiu Jitsu, that we used to grab both, right? That's how I, I learned 28 years ago. Here, right? It doesn't, it doesn't change anything if you just grab your one and bring your elbow in, right? So, but even if I'm having this, so my knee is open, he still can break my posture. So this, I gotta go and bring close to his butt. My leg's still open. What I brought was just the knee. Now when I'm there, Pull your legs in. So now I have the right base. Okay. That's what you guys need to understand. Okay? Not to open them. Right there, see? If we pull, pull your eyes. Okay? Now, so you do that. One thing I don't want you guys to do ever. Okay? We're talking about competition and even like to don't give the guy to break your base. Look, if I'm here with Jake, and then go, and then do this. I'm so after right? And I'm, he can still be beating me right? Look, he's gonna, this leg is just with me first, Jake. Right okay. now. He does that, you know. So why I, I stopped in the class to talk about this? Because I know a lot of you guys trained wrestling before. And I know that you guys, Again, they're different sports. There is a reason in wrestling why, why you do that. Because you need to pin your opponent, you need to make your opponent on his back, right? Not in Jiu Jitsu. 